This season is very important because of the change of format and because of having three teams going down. Everyone knows we miss our start and it's part of my responsibility to find a way of how we can get the, the team back on track. And all the evidence suggested that we need to make a change. We did it because we had the, the succession plan with, with, with Miron, uh, that we all knew that at some point he was going to, to take charge and uh, he's done really well. This is a special league, for sure. It's very unpredictable, anything can happen. It's super competitive. We knew that this season was a very important season and therefore we decided to keep the team together despite, despite having several interests in some of our players. It was, it was uh, a big effort from, from our owner as well to, to, you know, to, to, to resist this and to, to bet on, on the long-term stability of Circle. We want to see the same kind of football uh, playing uh, by Circle on the pitch. That's part of the identity that we're building. I think now Circle is well known by something and uh, everyone knows what we stand for and that's very positive and that's stability in the end. The expectation for the rest of the season is to continue uh, seeing growing our talents that it's been it's been fantastic now for example being able to see Ayase representing circle in uh, in the World Cup with uh, with his national team is fantastic having nine national team players called up to their teams this season is really good and it's a good sign of our strategy now seeing players linked um, to big big teams in the news you know it's, it's a proof that that we're going in the right direction and we want to continue that. And the only way to continue that is by being consistent, be, being consistent with our performances, being consistent with our results, and, and that's the main expectation for, for the second half of the season. To be honest, I think something that has been amazing during this season is the support from our fans. I think they've been They've been pushing hard behind our team and that's something that, you know, it's, it really makes a difference and our players feel really, really supported. So, so look forward to, to what is coming in the next half of the season. I think we expect to bring probably one or two players and uh, we're also trying to find some solutions for the players that are not playing that much. So there will be some movement uh, and, you know, besides that, if there's a good opportunity that suits our long-term strategy or, or that can uh, help us in our succession plan for the upcoming seasons, why not? With Dino we have, we have been speaking uh, over basically almost a year about the contract extension. He knows our possibilities, he knows what we can do, the offer is in the table and uh, now it's going to be up, up to him what he, what he wants to do uh, in the future of his career. It's going to be up to him, we're in a stage where it's just his decision if he wants to stay or not. So, so the team is back this week uh, after between seven to ten days off that they had, depending on some individual programs and some individual testing that they had. Um, the team is back. Uh, training will will resume until the weekend, and then on Sunday we're going to to Spain. We're going to have a training camp together with Monaco, where we will be able to exchange, you know, to continue exchanging practices, to 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 share our our knowledge and support between both organizations, both teams. There will be probably potentially some players coming, coming back and forth between both teams to train, to share experiences, to continue developing talent. And this is part of the, of part of the synergy that we have uh, with, with Monaco. And to be honest, we're very fortunate to, to be able to do this. Within a blink of an eye, we're going to be playing against um, Gen in the Cup and then we're going to play uh, Mechelen in the league. So I think we're going in the right direction and, and I can tell that I'm more proud than ever to be Ronan Swartz.